Well, I think we're on. Everybody's there. Everything's there. We got our audio being recorded and we've got ourselves out on uh, Facebook. Let me just make sure of that as I do every week at this time. There we go. Yeah, we're going on Facebook. So we're cool. We're cool. Hello. How are you? It's uh, it's Christmas Day observed and we're going to admit our uh, citizen panel thus far. Uh, of uh, Charlene S. out there in California, and Rick Sheckman, and Andrew Deutsch, and Len LaFrisco, and Charlie Wallace, and Mandy O'Brien. Hot dog. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hey. <coughs> yeah, every, everybody. And Mandy. Hey. hey, Mandy. And she's probably at home today, too. Right? Yeah. Huh? I'm home. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're you're a little out of sync for some reason. I don't know why. I yeah. may change it to my phone. Oh, no, now you're fine. Yeah. No, you're fine now. Okay. fine now. It 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 did a little catch up thing went and then it caught up. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. We have some more coming in. We have uh, Mike Chisholm and we have uh, Jeff Stein. Boy. <laughs> None of you celebrating Christmas observed. <laughs> What's that? Christmas, Christmas observed is the day after Christmas because it's a three-day weekend. Don't no, you? it's Boxing Day. That's yes, right. it, it is Boxing Day. Right, right. It's right. a day to go take all the stuff back you don't want. Exactly. So that was Unboxing Day. <laughs> yeah, Unboxing Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a four-day weekend. I was off Friday too. Nice. I get a notice now that says Marjorie Miller entered the waiting room. Cool. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll just yeah. Hello. And so here, here comes Marjorie. Boy, we got a lot of people for the day after Christmas. So uh what I let me let me I gotta find this out. Okay. Sheck, what did you do on Christmas? Mm, nothing. <laughs> I watched all creatures great and small. Then I watched the fourth season of Ghosts, and yeah. then I went to sleep. Oh, okay. And how was uh, uh, you? Didn't uh, there were no football games yesterday? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. No, I did have the football games on at one point. Yeah. But you don't care about them. It was Miami versus Green Bay. Who cares? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, who's Jeffrey? I've never seen Jeffrey before. Maybe yes, it's Mr. 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 Dahmer, I think is his name. Mr. Dahmer, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So maybe it would wind up being somebody showing us porn. Mm. It's always a pleasure, always a treat. Yeah. Why does your hair look longer today, Mandy? Does it look longer? Mm. Oh, it's a mess today. I don't know why it looks longer. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. so you're calling us from your new home. Yes, this is my kitchen. Is your kitchen? Oh, it's it's nice. very bright. Lots of natural I know, light. It's white. It's very white. You can't really do you it. make us some sausage balls, balls please? Yeah. <laughs> sausage balls. I made sausage balls. Yes, I did. I made them Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. What I color? I eaten, like my, I made pigs in a blanket too, and my youngest daughter ate like half of them before anybody else got over here. I was like, stop it. <laughs> Here's this Jeffrey again. Let's see what happens with Jeffrey again. I whenever I see names that I don't know, I'm always worried because they sometimes come on. Are you there, Jeffrey? I'm mute. He's muted. Okay. Well, well, let him come on if he wants to. We don't like. Well, I have to be very careful ball. because if it's somebody who's getting ready to bomb us with some porn. I got to get rid of it. No, no. There's Jeffrey. Jeffrey, uh, move your camera so it isn't facing the window because we can't see you. No, other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. More. More. No, other way. Other direction, Jeffrey. Other direction. There we go. There's Jeffrey. Where are you calling from, Jeffrey? Northern California. Northern California. Okay. Where? San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, any, any particular town or just. Oh, the creek. Oh, the creek. Oh, okay. I'm in, I'm in Livermore. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. And Len LaFrisco, where are you? 
Livermore. Livermore. And, and, and let's see, anybody else out in California today? No. Usually um, we have on the nighttime. Charlene. Have, oh, Charlene. Oh, Charlene, Charlene is. of course. Charlene. The Astro Valley. Yeah. Astro Valley. yeah. So, and Brian, Brian, Brian Leary is from around here, too. Yeah, I don't know if we'll hear from him today. He's probably got too many kids stuff to do. Oh, yeah. he's just licking his wounds. <laughs> what do you mean he's licking his wounds? Cowboys beat the Eagles on Christmas Eve. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. that's our thinking, sports. That's our sports report, folks. I was thinking about I have you too. I'm going to add game. on to the sports report. Penn State, my alma mater, is playing in the Rose Bowl this year. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. You mean Rape I'm State? No, not Rape State, Alex. Oh my God. I didn't know you went to Penn State. This you went to Rape to State, in, yeah. I used yeah. to live in Lewistown. We used to go to the games when I was in like 10 years old. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty there. It, it is. What was what the name of it? It's like the biggest town it's near. Wow. Is it near Philadelphia? Uh, no, Harrisburg is probably 70 miles away, maybe. Well, Marjorie was raised in Philadelphia, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. It's right. My daughter was got her flight canceled to New York today, oh. so I had to take her to the airport for another flight to Philadelphia, and she's oh. going to try to get a ride to New York from there. You know what you can, you take the train. Train's she very. She was nice. so good, but then she was worried that she I didn't really know how to do it, so she was just like, maybe I'll. Uber. But what you do is you buy a <laughs> ticket and you get on the train. What's to do? Mm. I know. Uh, I almost, I almost had to drive home she's from nice. Midland, Texas, last week. No, I haven't no. taken a train in a long time, but you don't really have to go through like being padded down and all of that. No, right? no you yeah. get on, you sit down. Well, yes. she had two bags. Uh, Marjorie yeah. and I were thinking about going away, and I suggested oh, yeah. we we go take a train ride somewhere. Absolutely. Yeah. Very romantic. Huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Uh, me being the big romantic, we go on a trip. <laughs> well, she, I've been she out of my zip code for three years. Yeah, I'm really? well. Then, oh, fly eagles fly. Oh, this has got to be. <laughs> 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 the, the, this has got to be. Uh, Brian. Brian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they, he, he heard that he was being talked about. Come yeah. on, come on. <laughs> Turn on your microphone. Yeah, turn, turn on your picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is Charlie on the show? Is Charlie on the show? I can't see. No, <laughs> yeah, uh, you can show your face, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> now, who was the game with that? We oh, oh, just lost him. Oh, wow. We just lost it, Brian. Come back. Yeah. Oh, well. No well, let me, but, but seriously, y'all, should I tell Mackenzie to try to take the train because she yes. was just like worried? Absolutely. Was I would say the train. Right into Penn Station on 34th Street. It's easy. Yeah, she said it would go to Penn Station, but she's like, didn't, has never done it. So she was just thinking how hard. Oh, now you just get on, put your feet up, and go. Two yeah. hours later in New York. Yeah. So, like, if she, but like she can take an Uber to the train station. An Uber would be a fortune if she took it to New York. No, not to New York, yeah, to yeah, the train station. Up. Train station, yeah. That's she won't have to deal with the Lincoln Tunnel. She won't have to deal with any traffic, you know. She gets a 30th Street station, she gets a 30th Street station, gets her ticket, and she gets off at Penn Station at um, uh, Grand Central. You say the 30th Street station is where you go for in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia. Philadelphia. 30th Street. And she can get off at Grand Central because she lives near Grand Central Station. That's the only stop. Okay. No, it's Penn Station, 34th Street. Yeah, she said it was Penn. She said it was Penn Station. Two, it takes Grand two Central is Third Avenue. Hey, I think we've come up with a new format for a show. Call us for directions. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm just saying, I, the whole way to the airport today, because we were like 40 miles from it, she was at her dad's. That, that's, it was, yeah, that's why. I did you know. Googling the whole time, like everything. She because, didn't, you know. Because, like yesterday, um, uh, I mean, a lot of the trains were having, a lot of the planes were having problems. I mean, even well, if Southwest canceled half their flights, apparently. That's what she was yeah. flying. That's what she even was if flying. you're you're in a town where a plane could take off, the question is, is the plane going to be coming in? Because these are all on chains. You know, the plane from California is the plane that you're 
going to have to take, which may have to stop in Chicago, but can't, you know. So what you do is if you take the train, there's none of that. There's none of that. 5,000. 5,000 flights were canceled. Right. She got a text this morning that canceled her. Oh, tell them about our heat situation. Our Uh heat situation? My wife is in heat. Wife is in heat again. (laughs) Congratulations. (laughs) Yeah. Any time now. No, we, uh, we, 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 well, you know, we have a landlord who, uh, Ghana's landlords. Well, you know, he should be able to keep us warm because I'm sure Santa put coal in his stocking. Yeah. 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 Um, It was of what, uh, nine degrees, eight degrees? Yeah. And that's not with the wind chill. And no hill, no heat. No heat. Con Edison has also told people to turn their heat as far down as livable. Oh really? So we, we were well, that. We, yeah, but that's we that's physical. electricity. We're not in electric heat. We have a uh, you know we have no gas heat. Condit is gas heat. I don't think we use. Do we use gas? I don't know what they use down there. Oil we must probably I, oil. They probably the use oil, oil in this building. Yeah, yeah. Just want to wish everybody a happy New Year. Got to scramble. Happy New Year. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Jeffrey. Nice of you to call. Time. Call again sometime when you can spend some time with us. I will. I will. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, Jeff and Jeffrey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then now the confusion isn't isn't we don't have confusion anymore. Anyway, so Alex uh, and I were walking around in coats. We spent. We she had, had this big her big winter coat on. Yeah, an outside coat I was wearing. And what and it turned out is that they were spending two days fixing the boiler. The Ghana mm. owners, like they should have known and done this in August and September, but right. of course they wait till it's a problem. Yeah. yeah. And so consequently, we were freezing. I mean, I've never, I did a nerve in that cold in an apartment in my life. Ever, ever. And the wind chill. Yeah. Yikes. So we were here in our, I was wearing, I actually wore a sweater to bed, which I don't normally do because you get really hot. And uh, we, it was, it was hell. It was yeah, hell. Free, freezing over here. It's like fifties, fifties. Okay. Yeah, oh, oh, really? here. Well, around cold. 10 o'clock on, on the heater. On, I was just saying 10 o'clock on Friday, the heat started to go on. But when right. it's been on for two days, it takes a long time to heat it up. Oh right? yeah. Well, Shecky didn't have, doesn't have to worry, right? Your, your heater worked just fine, right? Oh yeah. 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 We, we what do you, what do you below, use, so. oil or gas? Gas. Gas, okay. So, yeah. But, I mean, it was, it was freezing here. It was just terrible. I, I We saw it go from, what, 57 down to about... About 10, uh, 10 in the afternoon last week. In wow. some, like three or four hours we saw that. Yeah. I mean, I've never... Maybe it was I, Thursday or something, yeah. And with the I remember show, the temperature dropping that to that low you know as a resident canadian i would like to just say you're welcome (laughs) (laughs) yeah thanks a lot thanks a lot it was it was minus six here and buffalo got uh 48 inches of snow something like that buffalo's got hit hard yeah Yeah. Yeah. buffalo was buried under snow yeah Yeah. Yeah. almost four feet wow but here here it was cold it's well, that's what they get. My daughter's from Texas, and she said that her pipes were frozen. Like she uh, got a text from her friend who's watching her cats in yeah. College Station, and their pipes were frozen. The pipes were frozen. Froze 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 is, is that a is that a euphemism for something? <laughs> no. We went fifty hours without the temperature getting above freezing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's Texas is not built for that. Texas, yeah. there are a lot of places that are not built for for cold weather. You know, because you just don't have them. California is not very good at certain things like that. You know, when if it, if it goes below, if it goes down to thirty nine, we go, oh, it's freezing. Freeze yeah. in the north part, Alex. What? North of California. In Northern California, yeah. Right, come here, come say hi to these people. Put the phone down. Come here, and come say hi before we go to the movie together. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. I thought I muted. You're not on mute. Oh, <laughs> I'm on mute. Sorry about that. Yeah, they come say hi to these idiots while you walk before we. Yeah. <laughs> We're taking our granddaughter to a movie today. We're about oh, to take our yeah, granddaughter yeah. to go see Puss in Boots. 
Nice. Well, actually, it, it that is that picture is doing very well. Yeah. In, in Looks the, clever. You know, I watched uh, my, on Christmas. Marjorie wouldn't watch it with me. I watched uh, Violent Night. <laughs> which do you know what this is about? Is Santa is fed up with Christmas. Uh -oh. <laughs> Starts out with him in a bar. Nice. And finally goes up to the roof where the where the reindeer are and everything, you know. And uh, I think it was uh, Blitzen who left a turd on the roof. <laughs> and, and as he's taking off, he comes around and this woman sees him passing by and she waves at him and he throws up all over her from oh, the play. Geez. That's how the picture starts. Okay. That's what I saw. That's the part I saw. Yeah. Uh, all right, everybody, I'm being beckoned. Merry, Merry, happy, oh, happy. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, Have a good time at Puss in Boots. And I hear it, it's getting good reviews and good good, uh, good business. Yeah. 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 Much like myself. See you, everybody. Uh, okay. Bye. Uh, he'll, he'll be. I yeah. started watching Wednesday. That was a good uh, recommendation. Wednesday's very good. We just I tried to get watch. Marjorie to watch it and she won't, but I think she would like it, actually. Yeah. I, I didn't know I wouldn't on Wednesday. I said I'd watch one. Yeah. Wednesday? I'm not normally liking that kind of stuff, but it looks good. So very good. Watching. It really is very, it's, it's surprisingly good. And the woman, girl who plays Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Is a woman now. The woman who plays Wednesday is just wonderful. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and the actor playing hmm? Thing. The actor playing Thing is, is unbelievable. <laughs> he plays the hand, but really, he screwed up his lines a couple times. Unbelievable! And you know they just had to have hand go. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I have a question for the panel, though. Okay. So, White Lotus. You guys are watching White Lotus, right? Yeah. I've gotten I've gotten like five episodes, and I just don't get it. I don't. The second I, I've season, both the second seasons, season and I don't is get really it. so much better than the first. Yeah, it's just bizarre. These weird stories going on. Did you watch the? First, are you watching the first season? Yeah, the first. I got like the, the first second five season is much better. Really? Okay. Yeah. Let's go right to that. Yeah, yeah just these weird stories going on. Really bizarre thing, and the, and the and the music is like from Squid Games. It's like this weird music. Mm. Yeah. You don't like Colin Murray? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So okay, I'll, I'll give it a chance. Well, I, uh, I, uh, we, we, we enjoy this season next, these new season that you know what we really enjoyed this week, nineteen twenty three. Yes, that's so good. It's so did, good. Did so you much. see the latest one? Yeah, yeah. That's the well, most. That's one of the most romantic scenarios I've seen go on on television in years. I mean, yeah. it's it, it starts off to be this great love story, mm -hmm. uh, and it's uh, it's wonderful. It's really a, a well written show. One of the 80 shows that Taylor Sheridan has on the air right now, you know. Can you watch this one without watching all the others? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Now, there's no more than two episodes, right? Because that's what I watched. I watched yeah. the second two, one. Two so time. far, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the ending with the girl. Yeah, that was so cool. Like, and they have the narrator is the dead girl from last year. From, oh, from 1870, whatever. From 19, what was the other one called? 1883? I haven't watched that one yet. Yeah. 1883, I think, or 86. Something like that. Yeah. And that was like Faith Hill and Tim McGraw or something. Yeah. They were in that yeah. That's very good, too. It's excellent. Yeah, I need to watch that one, too. I mean, I like them both better than I like Yellowstone. Yellowstone yeah. is boring me this season. Uh, but yeah, but there's no reason. Tonight. It's terrible. It's like they're talking about the cows too much. I'm like, I don't care about, I just want to see some drama, some backstabbing. I don't care about the cattle. Like, every, cattle. Year, every year, their budgets seem to get bigger because they have more cattle. <laughs> in, in, uh, in 1883, they've got 100 sheep in one scene. And I'm going, you know, it isn't, it isn't special effects. You don't it's think it's CGI? Huh? You don't think it's CGI or anything? No. No, you can't CGI cows. It's impossible. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I watched it with my friend and he was in the future farmers of America when he was in high school. And he'll sit there and go, now that's a red Angus right there. And he'll freeze it. You know, he'll go, that's a red Angus. And then if you, those two, if those, those mix together and that makes this kind of cow. And I'm like, I don't care. You don't care. Yeah. Well, they, the, the 1883, they got a lot of cows and a, just a and lambs. shitload and lambs. Of, of, of sheep. I mean, really amazing. Uh, and, but I'll tell you, I it's very easy to. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, Going out to the terrace. <laughs> very easy. <laughs> that's very funny, Andrew. That's very funny. Anyway, uh, well, I got those last week in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Do you sell that as part of your service? No. No. Uh, you just made the cows for yourself. Just for my own uh, edification. Well, when I was in Ibiza one year, uh, I went out to somebody's finca, which is a house out in the country. And I was invited because everybody was going to go out there and smoke dope. That's what everybody did in those days. <laughs> and I get really stunned. I get really baked. And now I'm take, I decide I'm going to take a walk outside the backyard of this place. And there was this just gigantic amount of sheep. Out the backyard. So I, I go over to the sheep and I find that if I if I stand in front of in back of them and I go, they go. They like start running like about 10 feet and they stop. And if I go over to the side of them and I go, they go that way. <laughs> if I go to the other side, I go, they go that way. And they only run about 10 feet and then they stop. They forget they were running. And I'm <laughs> right. So I literally learned how to herd sheep. So what <laughs> I did was I, and then to the left and the right and everything, and ran the sheep right through this guy's house. <laughs> <laughs> and they went right out the back, you know. And then when I stopped going, they stopped and started eating grass. You know, they, sheep are not bright, okay? They deserve to be lamb chops. <laughs> and sweaters and sweaters yeah <laughs> yeah but anyway uh, how cold was it out where you were andrew you're in uh it was uh six below seven below 30 below with the wind chill oh boy did you go out no that looks stupid <laughs> <laughs> i did a little i had you to... haven't been out in a week now i mean yeah, it's, it was I, too cold i now. actually almost got stuck uh traveling wednesday i showed up at the airport in beautiful Midland, Texas, and my flight home was gone. And oh. I almost had to drive 20 to 22 hours, ended up flying to Pittsburgh and renting a car. Jeez. Oh, but down there it got, they told me it got about four degrees. Why does anybody travel at Christmas? I didn't travel at Christmas. It was uh, week. Wait, Mandy will give us the answer. Mandy? Well, I'm just saying, I did tell my daughter that when we were driving. She was like, this is a nightmare. You know, I'm not going to come home next year. I said, well, what you need to do is just come home in the middle of December or something. Right. You know, don't come home. Home. Yeah. Come home when it's day. Yeah, so just come, right. Come home like December 10th or something, and we'll do Christmas then. And then I mean, I think a lot of people want to go home for Christmas because it is tradition. Sure. Yeah. And it was her first year away and she didn't even think she was going to be able to, but then her boss said, call in sick. So her boss did know she was doing it, but like the rest of the company, she just started this job. So yeah, she was freaking out thinking I'm going to get fired. If I don't, if I'm not at work tomorrow and blah, blah, blah. But her boyfriend's here and everything. So she wanted to see him too, even though he's been to New York a couple of times. I don't, you know, she's got a boyfriend in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. and she's and living in They've been they've been together like four years. It was a college sweetheart, so yeah. I yeah. mean, they're fine. I mean, like I said, she's there, he's here, but she wanted to see him and his family and everything. So, oh, and us. Yeah. And well, my, I can't and my see other daughter, she hasn't seen my other daughter in a year, so they wanted to see each other. So. Well, I mean, we sat there and watched these people on television because they run these reports. Oh, they're looking. I'm waiting at the airport. I've been here three days trying to get a flight back home, and I'm and Marjorie is in her sympathetic way going. She deserves it. Why do you travel on Christmas? <laughs> yes, I agree. Why do you travel on Thanksgiving? Yeah. yeah. I told her, I said, this is what you hear every year, the, the nightmare, the, you know, you hear yeah. on the news. Every if you want to take two weeks off, start a week early and go to the place 
and come back a week later. Well, a week later is New Year's. So, you you know, but, yeah. you, you know, but don't do it on those days. Are you uh-huh. nuts? Or yeah. even near those days. How many, yeah. uh, Shecky, how many flights were canceled, did you say? Well, um, I thought it was Andrew who said it. Yeah, they said, five, I heard 5,000. Yeah. yeah, Southwest canceled a bunch, including her. Southwest Sorry. canceled half their flights. My, my flight wasn't canceled. I was supposed to travel on December 21st and screwed up my ticket and had one for January 21st. Oh, wow. oh. The, when, I, when I booked it, you know, the calendars flopped and I didn't see it on the thing. It's, it was my fault. But it, wow. was, it was Wednesday. It wasn't Christmas, so. Yeah. yeah, I've only flown three million miles in my career, and mm-hmm. now I don't know how to book a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> but That's let me ask you: this. you you've done a lot of flying, okay? Yeah. Is it pleasant at all today to fly? I don't know. I sleep through the whole thing. No, but uh, the whole process. Nice. You know, it used to be. It's not. Ple- it's not pleasant. It used to be, you ran to the airport in order to get the plane, and you ran through the terminal to get to the plane. And then you got on the plane. Nobody stopped you and frisked you and mm-hmm. had to put your baggage in this yeah, they, place. And yeah, if, if you've got if you've got the time to get yourself TSA pre, so you don't get the gate rape every time you go through customs or through yeah, security, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's That's better. Now they have this paid privilege bullshit with uh, Clear, where if you've got enough money to pay for it, you get to go to the front of the line just because you spent money, mm-hmm. uh, which which is a weird thing. Clearly, you, you pay you pay money so they scan your eyes, and then you somehow because you've paid that get to go in front of even the TSA pre people. Mm-hmm. It's not even a government thing; it's some private company that you pay for privilege. And wow. then on the the plane, you you know they don't clean. I mean, them. How much do they want you to pay for that privilege? You know, I don't I don't know because like a hundred dollars right. ish, hundred twenty something like for, like for a year. Yeah, and then you get to cut to the front of the line because you've got money and the other passengers don't. Um. <laughs> But well, uh, ask, I mean, it's really people, people. Let me people, ask you a question. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Let me ask you a question. Just, I'm sorry, I interrupted. Uh, Since you fly a lot, Andrew, like if they cancel a flight and it's the airline canceling it, do you get like some kind of refund? They'll they'll pretend no, but they're supposed to give you the cash. They they they'll try to get you uh, some some bonus miles. They'll try to to give you a coupon. It's cash. They have the people yeah. yeah. is enforcing the laws, and that's why the yeah. airlines are finally canceling less flights because of their own stupidity but the government obviously say, if it's a weather issue there's nothing they can do does the but government the law say, is you get your money does the government yeah. say they have to pay cash it, it the law says it yeah if they canceled the flight yeah. because they didn't staff it or right. or uh they they don't have a plane that can work they have to pay you Ooh. i was gonna say we pay a round trip ticket and they've canceled one of the legs it just seems like we should at least get half back yeah and if if you spend the night they have to pay for the hotel they got to feed you Mm-hmm. Uh, foot massages are not included. I've asked. <laughs> How about hookers? <laughs> hookers yeah. at all? But, but the worst, the worst is people are so stupid on the plane. You see people walk barefoot into the bathroom, and you know that water on the floor is not from the sink. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's it, people clipping wow. toenails in the in their seat. Wow. I mean, it's disgusting what goes on on airplanes. Oh. I just stop. I get on the plane. If someone talks to me, I don't speak English. I <laughs> every once in a while I, I meet someone that's worth talking to and have a really nice conversation, but for the most part, I'm really not that interested in your grandkids and uh, you know yeah. what what kind of family disasters you've had. Well, Shecky, I just you wanna, you've, I just you, sleep. You, you've kind of stopped flying, haven't you? I mean, you, it's you, just a pain in the you know what. Yeah, yeah. Like Easter? JetBlue. Okay, they got inexpensive fares. Do you know if you check a bag, it's thirty bucks each way. Yeah. It's well, just, no, free Kenzie luggage. Said if you, Kenzie said if you had she had to check two bags, it was 70 bucks. But it, she goes, but then I upgraded to first class for $69 and I got two free bags. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. so, like, so now you can get drunk on the way home for free. Really? Really? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now that doesn't make sense. Okay. That you they're gonna charge you 70 bucks to take your baggage both ways, mm-hmm. but only sixty nine and sixty-nine dollars to upgrade to first class where you get free luggage yes yeah it, it really makes sense but i mean I've, I've i've literally flown i think last time i looked at, <laughs> between all the airlines around three million miles do you know and you know what never like, used what? to to me and this i've worked in 100 and 120 different countries over the years this wow. was this was years uh-huh. ago 
and this did, never made sense to me. If you flew somewhere and you did round trip, it costs so much. Mm -hmm. If you did only one way, it costs almost twice as much yeah. Yeah. as the round trip. It never made sense. So, I mean, when I went out to California from New York and I knew I wasn't coming back because, you know, I was going out there to work uh, and stay. Uh, I bought a round trip ticket because it was cheaper than getting a one way ticket ticket to California. Yeah. I stopped doing that, I think, because it made no sense at all. They did. One ways are not twice as much as, as round trip anymore. Yeah, yeah. But it used to be because the if you were taking short trips and you were doing multiples to the same city, mm -hmm. if you were flying the same week, say it was $500. If you were flying <laughs> with a week in between your flights, it was $300. So people were buying multiple tickets in different directions yeah. so that you'd, you'd buy five or six tickets at 300 bucks a piece and plan them properly. Then the airlines, airlines found out they were doing these weird back-to-backs and canceled all these people's tickets and sued them for, for fraud. When really, I was just buying the ticket and doing what, what the ticket was for. Shecky does a lot of world traveling, I mean, well, or has in the past. In the past. Shecky, what, wasn't there a ticket you could buy that would give you for a year? Yeah, around the world. Around the world, anywhere you wanted to go? Yeah, back, that's probably 10 years ago. Yeah. But they, still, they still have them, but the new restriction is you can't go backwards. You have to keep going in the same direction. You have to you keep go going back. forward. Oh, okay. Yeah, the last time I looked at them, it was like that. Yeah. Well, wait the a minute. What's backwards and what's forward? If I so go, say to you flew to Germany and you flew back to the states and then over to France, you couldn't do that. Yeah, but the world is How are you going to get back? Yeah. You go around the world. It's an around the world ticket. Yeah, but you go to the edge of the world because the world's flat. How are you going to get right? Back? <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, when you get to the edge to pee over the edge, it's an amazing experience. <laughs> But, but yeah, it was it was a there were the, the the one that I saw was around the world where you you had to go so after Europe you'd hit Asia. You have to keep going east and, or going west, yeah, whatever yeah. direction you start. Hawaii, Japan, Hawaii, and then California. You couldn't go up and down a little bit. Let's but you, say you could. It, it, there was there was it was a the idea was that you couldn't like go to Europe and then back to the states and back to Europe. It was it was a directional thing. I'm sure there was yeah. north south. I mean, you could you could hit Brazil and then up to Germany or something, I guess. What is, does anybody know anything about Czechoslovakia? It doesn't exist anymore. It's a Czech Republic. And Czech yeah. Republic. Okay, Roca. Czech Republic. Yeah, yeah it's a neat so, place. Beautiful. Yeah, uh, I would because uh, Marjorie wants to go on a vacation somewhere, and I suggested the other day because we saw something with Czechoslovakia, and I I think it was. We were watching Jack Ryan, and it takes place in oh, Czechoslovakia. In and I said, we should go to Czechoslovakia. And while we were there, just go to all the Slavic republics there, like Hungary and, you know, and so on. And it looks, like, it looks like it's beautiful. In the summer. Yeah. Oh, winter's not good, huh? <laughs> if you're complaining about the cold in New York, you don't want to go to Czech Republic in the winter. Listen, yeah, where yeah, would I want to visit in the winter? Russia might be nice in the winter. <laughs> no. What are you talking about? It's freezing. Well, St. Just... Petersburg is worse than here. Moscow's not bad in the winter. Oh, it's good in the winter. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, give me a call. I'll give you tourism information. Yeah. I'll be your tourist bureau. <laughs> well, I love China, but you can't really go there anymore. You know, it's it, they're, they're kind of closing off to the West. Yeah. Why don't you go to Australia? Because during the winter, it'll be summer. Vietnam is really nice. Right? Isn't it, Brian? You've been there. Just humid. But yeah, it's nice. yeah, very nice. Gorgeous place. Great people. Thailand's a little weird these days, but it's a great place to go. It's amazing that we're saying, you know, in my lifetime, gee, you know, Vietnam's a great place to go on vacation. That's right. It is. It is. <laughs> You know, everybody that I know who went there got shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just a few years ago. I mean, maybe not a few, few years ago, but enough few years ago yeah. that uh, that I, um, you know, that people were going over there and getting killed. Yeah. But there, I don't recommend some... going to Vietnam if you have a time machine. Not a good idea. No. Well, when I, oh, when I when I posted like uh, the first time I went was about about 
14, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. when I posted, I was going, I got some, some comments about, you know, why are you spending your money over there and all this stuff from right. some people. Wow. Your, 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 your significant other, let's put it that way. And okay. my ex, my ex, yeah, my ex before her. So yeah. I went first time with her and, and yeah, I, we went up from Northern Vietnam and went all the way down South and yeah, I got a lot of posts saying, why are you going there? We had people killed there and all this stuff like, like wow. we have people killed yeah, in so Germany. Don't go to Germany anymore right? oh, yeah, yeah, you, exactly yeah. you brought back the mother of your children of your child yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah the other the others go to Central America go to Costa Rica beautiful place yeah. great yeah. adventures let me go to where do we go what was that yeah. go zip lining or something Alex <laughs> what, what, what was that dump we went to in South America or um, please where? Where? Belize. Belize. Oh, Belize. It depends where you go with it. What'd you say, Rick? I think it's Central America, Belize. Yeah. Yeah. Central America. Yeah. Uh, you didn't like it. You didn't like Belize. Uh, it was crazy. No, no. It, it it's used to be Guatemala. It's, it's kind of dumpy, isn't it's it? Not, like, it's not resorty. It's like you have like my daughter went there and she was like a camper. So she yeah. like the little island off of Belize was nice. Remember we took a boat there? We spent the uh, day. I think that was nice. Yeah, I, I, think I, took, I took Marjorie so I could say take my wife Belize. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Five minutes for that joke, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, but Bahamas, Bahamas, like like we we did a we did a Disney cruise in Bahamas. And, and everybody gets like pushed to go to that. You know, there's one hotel there with the huge slide and all that Atlantis. stuff. Atlantis. And everybody gets yeah, that way. My friends and I, we went this other way, and actually we took a wrong turn and we went down like the ghetto area. So I mean, every everywhere, like even Mexico, you know, the the vans from the airport they take you right through all the ghetto area where all the housemaids and everybody lives. Then they take you to the nice resorts right on the beach. Yeah. So I think like every every touristy area has a has a bad area around it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I I went to uh, to uh, Argentina and uh, Brazil and Peru, and they were all great places. But these days, all of my friends who supposedly supposedly go there, they go stay away. You get <laughs> killed walking the streets in Brazil. I That's lived there the for ten years. Yeah, it's it's we're dangerous. All, we're all having wars yeah. too. Yeah, I talk to my friends in Brazil and the conversations always start with who I know who just got robbed. Yeah. I wouldn't I'm glad I don't live there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um and there's every wonderful reason to go to Brazil. I mean, well, but, one but, time it was. Yeah, Peru but, and Peru and Chile are still nice. Peru is nice and Chile. Oh, yeah. if you can get up to the Sacred Valley where the where Machu Picchu is, Machu Picchu. Yeah. and look yeah. at all the there's about 12 different things to do to see and experience. Right. I love I love that part of the country. It's beautiful. Well, I went to Machu Picchu is, is, uh, all the way up. It's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever to tourists in those areas? Though? I, Machu I, Picchu seems I know so I know that tour operators are friends of mine. Yeah. If you decided to go there, I'd help you out. Well, I would love to go you there. know who's taken some cruises that I think were phenomenal is sure. Rick here. I mean, Rick that went to uh Where'd you go? You went to uh, well, Antarctica, China, whoever. Uh, you know. What do you call it? The the uh, what do you call it? Darwin's place. Uh, Galapagos. Oh, Galapagos. 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 Yeah. Uh, and and you went down there, and you you like the Galapagos, didn't you? Oh, Galapagos is love, wonderful, gorgeous. And they they're very careful about how many people they let come in as tourists. Yeah. Right. None of the boats going to have more than ninety passengers. If I think that's the exact number, because they don't want to ruin the ecology. Right. Well, it's so the fragile group. there. Well, it's not so much that it's fragile, but it could be corrupted, and and it would be corrupted from what Darwin saw, which he was able to figure out uh, about uh, relativity, uh, not relativity, um, evolution, evolution. <laughs> Uh, about evolution because he he suddenly saw that there was something that came from far away and then it changed when it was on the Galapagos and uh it's a it's a it's a great piece of history and a great uh, example of evolution you know so another another place to consider Alex is Medellin in Colombia it's one of the most beautiful cities in the world but isn't that a drug capital yeah. <laughs> again like Vietnam how many do you have a time machine 
Uh, it's one of the it's safest not, cities. It's yeah, really there's no, oh, no, really? Bogota, Bogota can be a little rough, but it's not a pretty city anyhow. But Medellin, where you go down to the coast of Cali, it's beautiful. Really? Mm-hmm. And, and, Absolutely. and, and you, you're not going to get killed in Medellin. I mean, I, yeah. you can get killed in your bathroom, but yeah, it's, a safe place. <laughs> it's yeah. safer than Miami. You can get killed in your neighborhood, Alex. It happens every day. Yeah. No, I mean, we're it's, a very it's safer safe than, neighborhood safer than Miami. Now. We're a very safe <laughs> neighborhood now. I, I can't say that Marjorie and I have been out at night in years, but you know, we don't. We don't mm-hmm. think about taking a walk at 11 o'clock at night, do we? No. I mean, we probably, way, wouldn't be a pro- probably wouldn't be a problem. But, you yeah. know. I hear Buffalo's beautiful. You go there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Bring a shovel. Yeah. Two. <laughs> His and hers. But, so, uh, Shaq, what's the latest thing our, our mayor is doing? You were mentioning something to me on the other, the other day. Well, he disappeared during that um, last week when it was freezing. And he wouldn't tell you where he was. And he wouldn't tell anybody where he was. He was, was in King You're the mayor of a city <laughs> and you don't tell anybody where you're going. Wonderful. Like a smart guy. But trust me, New Year's Eve, he'll be standing in Times Square pushing the button. <laughs> He's there for every event. <laughs> you know. Uh, it's really he's amazing, and then our governor, our governor is another one yeah. piece of work. The worst, the worst. But but she, the, we are opening the first uh, marijuana dispensary next week in New York. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, I think it's gonna. It, it's about time. I've waited it's how many years time. for this. <laughs> I mean. Uh, I'm amazed, as a matter of fact. I'm signing in on my phone so I can show you my shed. Oh, <laughs> oh so I can see it. The she shed. Oh, oh, so we have another Mandy O'Brien here. <laughs> I'm, I'm answering here so we can see her she shed. I the, the thing she had to go and get licenses for. And, I, th- I thought they right. had to tear it down. Okay, so. Your okay, video t- is, is turn on your video. Oh shoot! Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, should be able to. Let me see here. Um, Is that okay? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I still don't see anything. I asked to start video. Who's the guy walking around your house now? There. Uh, we go. There you go. Turn it oh, sideways. Like Turn it sideways so we can get it like in. There you are. There we go. It's nice. Okay. So, where are you now? Flip the camera. How do I flip the camera? Hold on. No, you just flip the camera. Just turn it. 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 You turned it wide. Just hold the no, phone sideways. No, don't. Okay. And then turn it Turn it wide. There you go. There right. we go. Now, it looks like you have two she sheds there. That's my yeah. neighbor's. The one to the right is my neighbor. That The little white one is mine. Oh. So okay, closer. <laughs> See, this is the difference between California people and some people in like the Midwest and stuff. There's no fence in between the neighbors. You know, I may, I may be thinking, I may have seen too, way too many cartoons, but I see a face there, don't you? With the two eyes <laughs> yeah. and the, it's like yeah. a cartoon yeah. she shed. <laughs> That's my shed. How do the chickens get in and out? Well, now, what do you put in the shed? All my crap. Craft. All my crap is in there. So, in other words, if we asked you to open the door there, would you be embarrassed? Yes. (laughs) Yes, I would be embarrassed. Okay. And it's cold out here, so go back in. Oh, yeah. See that that that's crazy because like I went to Chicago area, a suburb, uh, after high school for uh for a couple weeks, Mm -hmm. and yeah, the the people have no fences in between the houses. Yeah, that's nice. so bizarre for for like California, I guess. I don't know, maybe we just saw you where I live, but, Brian. Huh? It's against it's against the law to put up fences in my neighborhood. We just really? saw. Yeah, unless yeah, well, unless you have a vicious dog, then you can have a small fence for your dog. Wow, we saw you, no we, 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 man, after. we saw you walk by. On that, yeah, thing. yeah. that's like, <laughs> yeah. It's like alternate universe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's too Andy. Yeah. <laughs> so you're taking the week off? How many of you are getting to take the week off? Two weeks. I'm taking oh, nice. two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, I go back the ninth. 
So you doing anything I, with it? Or are you just gonna uh maybe LA, maybe drive to LA to see family down there for for my uh, Tiffany's family down there. Yeah. Oh really? So you but uh, no no vegging? No, we had a big party last night, so I'm sort of hungover. Um, and then <laughs> I had a party here, and then uh, and then we have uh, some of my family that I haven't seen for a long time. They're going to come over here on the sixth, but maybe in between that time, we're going to drive to LA. So yeah. Uh, let me tell you how sharp his daughter is. The other night we had Kevin in his usual garb, dressed up as Santa, because with the beard and everything, he used to play Santa. So he's got the full outfit. Mm-hmm. So he puts the full outfit on and then he calls the show about 20 minutes before the end of the show on uh, the day be- day before Christmas or the closest show to Christmas. And Adrian comes in and I <laughs> said, Adrian, look, Santa. And her first remark was, no, that's Santa's helper. <laughs> I, you know she first she thought alan but she couldn't remember kevin's name because we've met kevin before you know we've seen him at the car show before yeah and so she knew it was kevin but she couldn't remember his name and it wasn't his name on the thing so <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah but uh she, 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 she entertained last night we had maybe like 30 people over and uh Ooh. They, we started some karaoke and then they did some songs and she actually danced in front of everybody for a few songs. So it was pretty entertaining. <laughs> does she oh. dance other than her hoochie coochie? No. <laughs> but she just does her hoochie coochie, huh? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Hip hop, not hoochie coochie. You know, everybody cheers her on when she does that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think for the next a couple of Christmases from now, she's going to want a pole. No. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Chris Rock says, keep her away from the pole. That's all. <laughs> my job. That's my job. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, Charlie, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, we lost your picture is the reason I'm asking. And I was going to ask you, what did you do on Christmas? He celebrated. Oh, I'm sure he'll be back. I don't know where he, he was. Back. Practicing Charlie? physics or something. Huh? He's practicing his you physics. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely in awe of Charlie. I mean, this is a guy who is an astrophysicist, mm-hmm. who speaks Russian, Jesus. okay, was recruited by the CIA <laughs> and turned the job down. That's right. Because he was afraid of what his friends would say. <laughs> Charlie, are you there at all? Yeah, I don't know what happened. He is one smart guy. He's very yeah. smart. You know, yeah, right. He's, he's, he's a brain trust. I mean, all Andrew has is cows going through his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> just, just when the chickens are in the room. They're <laughs> <laughs> so big. The chickens are yeah, huge. They are. They're, they're, they're delicious. Chicken. Those are the ones they make those uh, rotisseries out of at Costco. Oh, I, <laughs> mutant chicken. Boy, you know what I love about Costco? They don't waste their chicken. No. They don't sell it in, what, 90 minutes, Rick? They immediately right chop it up and make it into salad. Chicken salad. And yeah. in another case, soup. chicken fettuccine. Yeah. Soup. How about soup? Chicken soup. Chicken soup. They do chicken pot pie. Yeah. Right. So really, they make the chicken for you as an afterthought. They just make it. If you don't buy it, it's going into other stuff. Good for them. No, they don't. They don't waste chicken. That do you know that the chicken is the most popular item at Costco? Right, because yeah. it's inexpensive. Yeah. It yeah. never has changed its price. You can still get a full chicken for four ninety five. Yeah. And it's a good chicken. It's huge. Yeah. Huge. What I hear was the second most uh, thing they sold the most. I'm trying to remember what it is now. Yeah. Uh, uh, hot, probably hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, the hot dogs at that, you know, the food court. Yeah, it's a buck yeah. fifty for a hot dog and a drink. Yeah, yeah, buck and a half. Or but something. that's how they get you. You know, of course it is. Of course, the whole. Well, it's, it's loss leaders. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you something. It, they don't operate on that basis mm-hmm. uh, they operate on f- raising the price on everything only 15 percent, and where they make their real money 
buy them. Membership fees. Membership. Yeah. Membership. Supposedly, the membership fees are their main source of income. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, they charge maybe, what, 50 bucks average. Yeah. 75 average. I, I get the 100 thing, but 50 to bucks average. And uh, and, and they've got how many? Five million, maybe five million members or something like that. You know. Please. Yeah. So, I mean, add that to how much uh, to 50 and you come out with a pretty large number. You know, um, they buy things in volume. They have 120 million members. <laughs> they have 120, 120 million. So would, you, if just 10,000 10, of uh, just $10, uh, $10, that would be a billion dollars. They're That's making. 1.2 billion, yeah. Sometimes so, yeah. making a five, five billion dollars on memberships. Wow. Well, if if not more, because Shecky, do you have just the basic membership at Costco? Or yes. You, yeah. I got the black. Oh no, plan. no, it's the one that gives you like two percent for being a business. Yes. Yes. That's a hundred dollars. Hundred and ten dollars. What's the one we get money back on? Yeah, that's it. It's black card. Is that the the Costco? Yeah, it's the. Membership? Yeah, the plus or whatever it's called. You got money back. Uh, executive. Yeah, you get 2% back. Executive, yeah. Executive. Here It says uh, they get 80% of their profit from the membership fee. I still haven't cashed my check from last year from them. Because mm -hmm. I haven't been to Costco in two years. I called Fresh Direct or uh, Instacart. Instacart. But the trouble is, I don't know if I get credit for Instacart purchases. Probably not. Hmm. But so you, but you I have to be a I, member I, to use I, you can look at your um, you can look at your membership, and you can see how much money you built up. And I have some built up in spite of the fact that I'm using Instacart all the time. My yeah. let's see here, my um, thing is two percent reward. I made ninety three dollars and eighty seven cents so far. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So and it's I've been, been using membership. Instacart, so they must it must count against what I was doing. Yeah. It, it pays for the membership. Too. It pays for the membership. Yeah. But the thing is, I still have the check from last year. I think I can still cash it. I don't think they let them expire. Yeah. We should go we should go there after the holidays. We should go, but you know, I I have a, a horrible feeling if we go to Costco, we won't know where everything is anymore. <laughs> well, oh no, everything moves around. Like because yeah. Mine, you try to find soda, it's in the weirdest place now. They would take yeah. soda and move it to another place. And then yeah. right. all over Costco, and while you're going all over Costco, oh, you go, oh, Bush's the 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 okay, <laughs> this, that, and the other thing. Then you finally find your sodas when you've already spent 50 bucks on stuff yeah. that you picked up on the way looking for the soda. So, Yep. You know, the soda used to be in one spot and now it's somewhere else in the in the building. That's know? right. That's right. So it's, you know, it's it's they break uh, the li Costco bro uh, broke the, the liquids up like uh, the soda soda would be in one corner. And then all the way on the other side would be the stuff like seltzer. And well, Shecky's Shecky's favorite store is Stu Leonard's. Am I right, Shecky? I mean, you really like Stu Leonard's. I do, yeah. too. And he I used to always brag to me, well, I was out of Stu Leonard's and I got this lobster from Stu Leonard's, blah, 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 and bragging to me. But now we can order from Stu Leonard's on, uh, what do you Instacart. call it? Instacart. Oh. You know, I got two lobster tails the other day, had them last night <coughs> for dinner. Wonderful. We had sushi the other day. They make great sushi. Great. I very bought good sushi. lobster rolls from them. But the thing is, I thought, you know, the closest one to us is up in uh, Connecticut, is it? No, Yonkers. 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 Wow. Uh, and I, uh, we ordered, and I didn't think, they got here really fast. And that's, uh, to us, when we drove it, it was like a half hour trip. Uh, and we order all the time up there, and we get it, and it's, you know, it's terrific. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. The only thing is, what we miss is the Big experience of Stu Leonard's. What? You mean you miss hearing the cows singing? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you've got this path you have to go down in, in mm. Leonard's. 
That's right. You have to walk through the loops, right? Well, there's a path. Which, which is great because it forces you to buy more. But what do you ever notice with the path, though, sometimes you take the full path and you will wind up seeing the same product several times on your journey because they they want to they want to sell you that you know but i mean it's it's a great store it's and the it and the quality of the food is terrific you buy a steak there it's going to be the best steak you ever bought in your life how about their breakfast sausage we we always buy their breakfast sausage and their potato chips <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, their potato <laughs> chips are to die for the kettle style the kettle style yeah they have about nine different types of yeah tastes on it i mean I, you I, can I, eat a lot of them i'm sure i go into our pantry and go oh marjorie you must have uh, you must have got a, a, a order from stu leonard's because we have 70 bags of potato <laughs> 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 yeah um the lobster rolls just uh, delicious. Well, you, their lobster is great. You know, so, I mean, it's a great store. And uh, they put a sizable amount in each loaf. Yeah. How does how does the one you go to? You go to the one on Long Island. Is it as good as the one up in Yonkers? The Yonkers has more variety, I guess you want to say, because it's larger. Okay. But to get to Yonkers, you got to go over the Throgs Neck both ways and what is that now 15 bucks 20 bucks so i'd rather go to mine yeah you, know, you just go out on the island yeah 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 i can be there in 15 minutes yeah but it wasn't until covid that they started to deliver on instacart because i had to go up with my friend all the time she would drive up every two or three weeks well this time of year is a time of year we take stock of all the people who have died and all the things that have died and I think of all of them that died, the one that Shecky and I are going to miss the most is our sushi place. <laughs> well, it's been gone for a couple of years now. It's a couple of years now? Mm. It was the best sushi place. It was like this giant sushi. It was a buffet. Yeah, you know, one of those buffet, buffet. places. Um, it was, I mean, everything there, you know, was wonderful. The sushi was great. Marjorie, you went with us once. You, yeah, a couple of times. Place. Over they, the closed, years, yeah. they closed the one in in New York City. They had a, a, a location in New York the City. The one in Manhattan. I don't know if it's still there. Where was yeah, it? I'll bet it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. So anybody, uh, anything that you're going to miss that you that left us this year? <laughs> you know, like that you could do last year or get last year or see last year? I still haven't been to a movie theater. I haven't been to a movie theater. No, no. Give that up. Do you miss it though, Marjorie? I, I don't miss it. Oh. Fish How, market. Huh? They had a fish market over here. Like Bay Area, they have the fish market. Really yeah. good fish. And uh, they had one right down the street on Almaden and uh, off Almaden. And that one went down. And it, the building's still there, but it's not there. We used to go there like once every two weeks at least. So yeah. that's gone. Mm. I miss that one. Uh, just a lot of things that are starting to disappear, you know. I mean, I understand that with time, all things disappear. But uh, some of the things that, you know, like, you know what I'm getting disappointed in are the the online services. Uh, because they seem like they're all being bought up by other people. Yeah. We're going to really rob them of what they are. I mean, HBO Max is changing its name to Max. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah. Because they were bought up by Discovery. And that, and they're going to they combine the Discovery it? Channel with what is now HBO Max and call it Max. What are they changing it to? Max. Spend more money. Max? Yeah, just Max. So that's what that's what they say. Uh, but I mean... Back, huh? What? I need to change the subject real quick. Yeah. I have a question. <laughs> quick, quick. For New York, Philadelphia people. Yeah. Okay. Is it, is it easy to get from the airport, airport to the train station? Marjorie, yes. there should be a taxi. Taxi. airport to the train station. Let Marjorie uh, tell me since she's from Philadelphia. Taxi. Taxi to the train station. You said 30th Street? 30th Street. How far is it from the airport? It's the only train station in Philadelphia. Okay. How far is it from the airport? 
How far? Eight, eight miles. Marjorie, how far is it from the airport? We're on opposite ends of the city. It depends on traffic. Yeah, the trouble is most airports aren't, some of them aren't even in the city. I mean, in, in Houston, yeah. Houston airport. It says eight miles. Tell her to go to eight the information miles. counter because really? there should be a shuttle. Yeah. That's what Info I told her. I thought there'd be a shuttle to the train. No, there's center. there's at the information counter in the Philly airport. Yeah, but you can the, also they'll tell you the public transportation, the, bus, the shuttles. The bus to Roosevelt in New York City. Well, according, according to Manhattan. In court, yeah, according to uh, Len LaFrisco here, who's been doing his research, he says uh, according to Google. eight miles. <laughs> eight miles, 15 minutes. says the best way to do it is on regional rail. Airport line yeah. service runs seven days a week. Trains is a part of Philadelphia International Airport every 30 minutes. Yeah, that's so what that's I probably, probably she's, that got like, she's got like two big bags. Like she's got a big suitcase yeah. and like a duffel bag. So she's just no, got a but lot what of he, What he's saying is good. But yeah. kind of like a, a unit rail in between the two places. Okay. Yeah, it's easy to get on with luggage. It's not a. It's not like the subway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they're used to people. If, if you get on at the airport, they're used to people having luggage on there. You know. Okay. So they're probably a common. Seventy-five cents. <laughs> so it's, probably, it's probably like Marta. We have Marta, like a train. We have a mm -hmm. train, Marta train that takes mm -hmm. you to the airport. Just tell her to ask somebody. They'll help her out. Yeah. yeah. Either yeah. that, the easiest way, of course, is to take a cab. But it's eight miles. Yeah. And uh, whatever. Uber that. would probably be about 20 or 30. But she, it, it, tell her not to think of anything else but taking the train. That's really yeah. the way to go. Yeah. You know. you know. I'm, not, I'm telling her right now. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, we were talking about you, but you went away. <laughs> Yeah, when well, you gotta go, you gotta go. Oh, I, <laughs> well, I know that at our age, okay. But you know, uh, the thing is that we were uh, what I was saying, and then we gotta go. We're gonna run over here. Well, so what? Who cares? There's no show yeah, coming care. on after us. All right. Uh, I was just mentioning how how I I'm, I was gonna write you about it. How much I just admire you. You know. Every time I find out something new about you, I'm just gobsmacked. Like you speak Russian, you know, you're an astro uh, astrophysicist. Well, that was fun. You know, and 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 an umpire. And an umpire. <laughs> yeah, an umpire. Thirty six years. Wow. Really? Did you ever actually work as an astrophysicist? Well, I'm off graduate school counseling when I was. Uh, teaching at, at the University of Texas, but no, because uh, when I decided not to go on for a PhD, I, I just ended up going into a career in IT. Yeah, because so, I I always used to hear from a lot of women, what are you studying in college? And they go, I'm studying archaeology. <laughs> yeah, well, that's going to be a lot of jobs for that. <laughs> but you know something, what, in, in my generation, uh, liberal arts is what you went into. Yeah. I mean, yeah, everybody was liberal arts majoring in this or that, but yeah. mostly do with the arts and came out of college, no working skills. Yeah. Well, listen, we don't have, we got to sign off here. We don't have what's his name here. I know we don't. I just thought that's him. Down, he's right. down in Florida. Yeah. We'll say it together. Huh? He's down we at Canaveral Seashore. Yeah. Uh, but what, what's his name? If, if... Ed Berger. Ed Berger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, I don't know. Can I do an Ed Burger voice? <laughs> no. it's, not close. It. it's not even close. Not even close. Not, he's the best. That's all, folks. No. 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 You should have had a recording ready. You know, so <laughs> had a record. You're right. I should have had a recording ready. I should have. I should have done some Zoom me during the week and just do it. <laughs> yeah, just have it on your file. Yeah. So anyway, thank you, Andrew. I appreciate it. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, talk to you soon, but not till the cows come home. Nah, <laughs> I'll do my Ed Burger. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Shecky, uh, always a, a pleasure, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, Len, we love having you here. Really nice. Thank you, Charlene. What? Charlene? Somehow. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks, Charlene. Thank yeah. you, Mandy. Always good to see you for the whole hour without having to do some accounting. 
you know. That was, that was so bad last week. I'm sorry. Somebody came in my office and just drug me away. No and thank, you, thank you for the advice. I'm still texting with her because she's like, should I book this? <laughs> you know, she's like, there's one that's leaving at 549. Too bad I won't make it. It's only $46. And then she's like, the rest are 150 I'm yeah, like, I saw. You know, yeah, but with a train, you can literally just buy the ticket and walk on. Okay. Uh, you know, and uh, also, I got to tell you, uh, uh, there's no question in my mind that trains are the best way to travel because you can just veg. Yeah. yeah. The seats are comfortable. Sometimes you have a table you can have there, you know. And Very they've nice. got a um, UB, USB port there and a plug. Do they have Wi-Fi yeah. on the trains now? Yeah. Yep. Oh. No, you know, it's good. I think they do. Maybe I'm much, wrong. It's much better than it. if you oh. it's cheaper than flying. It's better than flying, you know. Thank you, Jeff. Good hearing from you. Absolutely. Uh, I'd say happy Passover, but it's over with now. Yep. <laughs> See you next year. <laughs> yeah. Next year I'm I have I'm I'm going out this year and doing my research. I never can find candles for my menorah. I'm sorry. Uh, Amazon. Get those. Yeah, Amazon's got it. Oh, we're crap yeah. Amazon, and we will have, I'm going to do it next year. I've still got the menorah. Let's see. Uh, thank you, Brian Neary. And thank you, Charlie Wallace, of course. And now here's Mandy to sign us off by saying. That's all, folks. Okay. <laughs> Bye. That's all, folks. Bye, guys. We'll see you next Bye. year. Okay. Yeah, next year. Next year. Yeah, see you next year.